Okay, any vector shape can actually become a brush. But we're going to look at one that I kind of use all the time. Let's go to the ellipse tool and make an ellipse, just like that. The ellipse, I need to actually fill it with some black. And I need the outside not to be filled, just the inside. Okay, these are rounded by default, but if I want to taper them out, I can use this tool over here called the Convert Anchor Point Tool. It'll convert a, a very smooth anchor to a very harsh anchor. Just like that. Now, go back to the black arrow, and in my stroke palette, what I could do is set this to a miter, and I can up that miter ratio. That way, when I shrink it down, which I'm going to do, the smaller these are, the better they turn out for some reason. So, that one is very tapered and very small. This is why the navigator is really handy. And see how sharp that point is. That's why it's so easy to, when they're small, so for them to turn out good, because the smaller they are with the larger the miter, the more tapered arrowhead you get. So what I want to do here is take my brush palette and click and drag this into my brush palette. And I want a new art brush. An art brush is anything that you have a line variance with. So it's clicking from point A to B, dragging across, and have one fluent line. Scattered is like leaves. Patterns are uh, what I showed you as far as that fancy thing goes where you have to click from one to other and you see it in the corner. So art brush. Okay, now I'm going to say proportional. And if you're left or right-handed, you might want to try this stuff, the direction at which you draw the stroke. I'm going to choose to draw it from left to right. So this is what it's going to look like. And this is going to be my ink brush. Okay. Also, I could flip these around, but it doesn't do you very much good because they're both symmetrical. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. So now, click anywhere first using the black arrow. Then, click on the brush. Have this highlighted and go ahead and click and drag this is what you're going to get. Okay? And you're seeing this really weird thing occur right here. See it? How it points off? So let's look at what happened. Why it does this. So click and marquee select them and delete it and go back into your shape. Remember when I said make sure the outline isn't black? I did it. I put it in there anyway to show you what it does. It makes that hook. So this time Let's kind of look at it this way. Let's make no outline, then go back to the brush palette and click and drag this new shape in there. It's an art brush, and it's art brush two. Okay, now click anywhere and click the brush with the new one, and you can find out that it actually works out really well and you get this nice cool tapered brush and it will follow the same fact that you know the smaller the brush using the plus and minus it, it's, it works a little differently with these brushes however so it all depends how small you got the original that's why the smaller you can get it the better because then you can have the more variance in the next video I'm going to explain further about this